Well, I'm just getting back on trail here. I got into Lordsburg early enough yesterday. I was able to do my grocery shopping and get some food and uh, do what I needed to do. So now I'm on my way to Silver City. I'm trying to get there in three days so I can uh, attend Trail Days. It's a little festival they have um, this time of the year. It kind of kicks off the CDT season, I, I guess. This is first I've heard of it, but uh, I'm going to Silver City anyway, so I think it makes sense to push and get there by midday Saturday, so at least I have time to spend the, the I guess, the biggest day of the, the whole event there. Well, what is this? Looks to be a trail. I haven't seen one in a while. First bit of shade I've seen in a couple hours, so I think it's time to get out of the sun, eat some lunch, take a little break. You know what's today, Thursday? Yeah, I'd be sitting around doing mundane tasks on the computer if I was still working the job that I quit. I think this was a good choice. It's Lordsburg down there. I've been walking about five hours. And uh, I think we're out of the flat part of the desert and about to head up in some hills finally. Shwita. Dry as a bone. It's like my mouth right now. You really need some water. Well, we get a dead coyote here. Looks like the cows got him. Alright, we got a windmill up here. I think this is supposed to be good water. Hope so, because I could really use some. Oh, look, cows. I think I'll move on to the next one, see if it's any better. The next one is noted as uh, good water. This one just said full, so it is full, but it does not look good. And neither does that. That's cow number one over there. Number one. At least I'm out of the open desert and in the hills a little bit. A little bit more like it. Still in the water though. Well, I just hit 100 miles now on trail, so things are looking up. Only 2,900 to go. Please be good water, please be good water. Oh yeah, everything's gonna be great. Fuck yeah. Well, this whole trough looks pretty nasty, but I flipped this lid and this water in here actually looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna pull some water from that and filter that. Since the spigot went dry in the windmill. Mmm, look at that. Drinking water tonight my uh, gravity feed system in action. I don't even have to take my bladder out of my backpack to fill it. And tonight's dinner, pepperoni, cheese, and tortillas. Man, look at this for a view. 
that this isn't living, I don't know what is. It is morning day seven. And uh, so you can see him pretty much out of the desert into uh, some, yeah, I guess you can call it a forest. I don't know, not really. But a uh, hell of a lot better than the open desert. So we're gonna roll with this for a while. Wow, I, I literally just stepped on this guy. I was like one foot away from stepping on this snake. It's actually a gopher snake though. It's non-poisonous, even though it kind of looks like a rattlesnake at first. Well, looks like I got myself a trail name. To be honest, I just kind of jumped at the first one that wasn't, you know, really stupid or, you know, derogatory or something like that. Um, I just kind of had a feeling, you know, after some time in the trail and, you know, some sort of incident happens where you get chafing or something and you end up being called monkey butt or something stupid. And it's like, eh, famous sounds a lot better than that, so I'm going to roll with famous. Uh, the story is, I was, I actually got into Lordsburg uh, a day before I started the hike and I was walking down the street, going to the grocery store, and I passed a couple hikers and we introduced ourselves. I said, hey, what's your name? She told me her name. She says, oh, you must be Eric. And I was like, yeah, but that's weird. How did you know that? And she says, oh, you're famous. And, you know, she didn't tell me for a while. It ended up being a Facebook thing. But regardless, I was like, you know what? That's not so bad. We're, we'll, we'll go with famous. All right, looks like we got some more trail magic. Don't mind if I do. I am climbing up Jack's Peak and Burrow Peak right now, and I just came across my first uh, pine trees. So that's a milestone. And it's basically the first real climb. Uh, here we are on the top of uh, Burrow Peak. All those hawks. I'm assuming they're hawks. I'm not a bird guy. I don't know. Look at all those birds. Well, this must be a mud spring. Definitely lives up to its name. I just spent about a half hour looking for it. It's got it marked uh, a couple hundred feet downhill off trail and yeah, you know, just bushwhack for a while trying to find it and, and ends up being right on the trail. This is the uh, Burrow Mountain Homestead and there's uh, free camping here for CDT hikers and you can't beat the low, low price of free. It also includes a shower and all the water you can drink. <laughs> 